I expect them to come out swinging, I expect them to come out knowing about me because obviously looking, I've been pitching the most, so I expect them to know what I throw and I expect them to come out believing that they're going to win, but I don't think that with the team we have behind us that that's going to happen. UH softball team back in action tomorrow to host the Bank of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine Classic. After a month of play under its belt, head coach Bob Kula knows there's still plenty of room for improvement. Good evening. We need to be able to be focused on the mound. One mistake will usually deplete us a little bit in the field because then there's doubt, and that can't happen. One mistake cannot lead to another, to another, to another, and that's what's been happening in the losses. Good teams will take advantage of that, so we have to pretty much stay steady. We have one more tournament to get through the preseason, figure it out a little bit, and then take a breath and see where we're going to go with the 21 games in the Big West Conference. 12 and 11, Hawaii looks for its second win in a row when it faces 13 and 11, North Dakota. First pitch is at 6 p.m. UH Beach Volleyball teams Morgan Martin and Leah Monkhouse are Big West Pairs Team of the Week, the first Rainbow Wahine pair to earn the honor this season. The duo went 5 and 1 versus 6 ranked squads last week and our team best 8 and 2 on the year. The 5th ranked Sandbows hosts the Outrigger Resorts Hawaii Invitational this weekend. They'll meet Nebraska at Queen's Beach on Saturday. First serves at 9 a.m. The winner of this game advances to take on Florida. Matt Mobley! Monstrous three! In the NCAA basketball tournament's opening night, a whole lot of madness in the first four matchup between UCLA and St. Bonaventure. That answer by Prince Ali kept the Bruins within two with under three minutes to play. But this clutch jumper by Jalen Adams brought it home for the Bonnies, 65-58. They'll move on and take on Florida on Thursday night. Less than five weeks remaining until the NBA playoffs. The Clippers vying for one of the final six spots in the Western Conference race. Jordan for a slammer. In Chicago, L.A. came out strong and took care of business behind the Andre Jordan's 29 points, 18 rebounds. Lou Williams here with the assist. He finished with 26 points. Clippers win 112-106. They take on the league-leading Rockets on Thursday. Can't. Clippers, will, they're going to make it. Can they? Clippers they're barely are. there. They got to be stay perfect. They got a tough, on tough the Andre yeah, they Jordan gotta alone, they're going to make it. Alone? He got to get his he's free a, throws in, though. He's, just keep Just dunking. Just keep following the guy. And Just keep dunking. Thank you, MG. You got it. <laughs> All right, Zippy's opening a Las Vegas location. We've got another half hour.